So I decided to put some fruit out in the bush and set the trail camera up just to see what might eat it. So I put some apples out, I put some kiwi fruit out and I even put some lemons out there just to see what would happen. And then I set the trail camera up and I left it there for a whole month. So yeah, the wallabies were the first thing to find the fruit. And they weren't too sure about it at first. I think I probably still had some of my scent on it. The next thing to find it was a red hind and it hadn't rained at this point so she was a little bit suspicious so I think maybe some of my scent was still there but then it rained and surprising to me the wallabies kept ignoring it but then these wild pigs came across it this sow with her litter of piglets and when I saw this video, I thought, oh, they're going to wipe all the fruit out. But surprisingly, they actually didn't eat much at all. And yeah, the wallabies, they just continued to pretty much ignore the fruit. The pigs came back quite often. But yeah, they didn't eat it the way that I thought they would. But you can see that sow's in really good condition. And this was during winter, and we'd had a really good berry drop in the Potocart Forest. So I think all the animals were in pretty good nick. So maybe that's why they weren't willing to eat the fruit, because they were well fed already and maybe they were just a little bit suspicious about it. I'm not too sure what happened there, but something obviously spooked the pigs. And this is the first possum to come across the fruit, and he just walked straight over top of it. And then this younger possum turned up. looks like a female and she did end up eating some of the fruit and then yeah once the possums had been into the fruit They'd broken it up a bit, and that's when the wallabies seemed to start eating it a little bit. But yeah, surprisingly I left that fruit there for a full 30 days, and when I came back, most of it was actually still there, you know, it was hardly eaten at all. So yeah, quite a surprising outcome. So yeah, I've just got some extra footage here of another spot where I had the trail camera up and this was kind of interesting I thought I'd put it on here because for some reason they kept eating something at the base of a juvenile porkaka tree and I'm not too sure what it was so yeah 
the poor kaka tree is the one to the left of the possum that's standing on the beech tree there and you can see this hind she's getting stuck into the base of it there and I had a pretty good look around and I'm pretty sure they weren't porkaka berries but it definitely looks like that hind got something to eat from the base of that tree so whether it was some sort of fungus I'm not too sure See there's a pig having another go at that same spot. And then another deer back in that same spot at the base of that porkaka tree. So yeah, that's the video. Thanks heaps for watching. Cheers.